Oh, the year's almost over. Let's do this. Way too long and slow to get going, but soup was excellent here, especially selling for Uncle June down in the finishing stretch. Very much not for me. Lots of history and context that goes way over my head, but even discounting that, this felt pretty disjointed and incoherent for most of it. Might be my favorite of their trilogy of matches. Wonderful how these two introduced little wrinkles to each of these matches to distinguish them from each other. Here we have Shingo selling the back. Awesome work from two of the best wrestlers in the world. I probably like this more as an idea and a result than I do as a match. But even then, it's very good. Some of Jay's best work on top in a while. Those body shots in particular were great. What a delightful finish too. Hell yeah. This was a fast-paced, hard-hitting action fest that avoided the more melodramatic aspects that these two could have easily leaned into. Excellent pay-per-view opener. Perfect capper to their series of matches dating back to last year. Has a lot of the same clever limb work and big crazy bumps that made all those such good viewing in the past. One of the most infuriating matches I've seen all year. The one thing separating this from the dirt worst trash from the rest of the year is that there is at least some semblance of a creative ambition embedded in this mess. Bungled and broken as the ideas were, there were at least ideas. The DIY finisher spot made me wish the revival never left the WWE though. Gritty and violent, but most importantly, a display of one of the best workers of our time getting to practice his craft in a major pay-per-view main event. Does sentiment boost my feelings of this match? Sure, but that's what wrestling can be when done at its best. Bloody, fast-paced, and with a bunch of crazy stuff in it. TV wrestling doesn't have to be difficult at all. A really fun and hotly contested bout going from cool groundwork to stiff strikes. This teeters towards silliness on occasion, but always reels itself back in to stay compelling. Stick around for the promo afterwards as well. Much like their match against Private Party last year, this is just a well-worked showcase made to help put some shine on an up-and-coming tag team by the Young Bucks. Flashy action that's worked well in a neat little package. Strong stuff. A nice little extension to their excellent tag title match last month. Higuchi plays the big obstacle that Ueno has to overcome, and it's a simple dynamic that they play to great effect. Bloated and flawed. Big spots done just to do them without any real narrative weight or consequences. But the core of the second act is such a great strike off that it makes this just slightly worth seeing. I'm hard pressed to recommend 42 minutes where I only enjoyed 20, so tread lightly with this one. Simple, but generally well done. I like the bigger spots they do in the finishing stretch, and this is the most focused Roman's looked since his return. This is a really fun tag match that still has a lot of the stiff action you expect from this lineup, but without really ascending into the higher levels that the astronauts have reached this year. Worth seeing though as a fun, well-paced tag bout.
At times great, but mostly just good overall. Love Daisuke's nutty dive at the start, and all the strikes land well, but this slows down way too often to be really great. A wonderfully paced 10 minute match with a healthy mix of fast paced, well done offense combined with some comedy. Endo turns the tables by working the leg of the big man here, and Higuchi sells it to perfection. Perfectly measured selling and pacing here, all leading to a pretty strong finishing stretch. A rematch of their TV show bout that has everything that made that one work as well. Good chain work to start, Akiyama imposing himself as the larger veteran, and some close calls that make for a nail-biting finish. A fast-paced, well-done piece of work that's about on par with their very good title match from July. Another great match from the Do tournament as Takashira puts in a fantastic performance here, selling the damage to his arm as Brook goes after it relentlessly. 